Hey everybody, so today I wanted to show you how you can change an icon for all of your documents, your folders, your applications on your Mac computer. So you can change it to anything you want it to be. I wanted to show you how you could do that in case you wanted to change yours. So let's go over to the Mac computer now and I'll show you exactly what steps to take. Okay, so the first step you want to take is you want to find the file or the folder or the application any type of document that you want to change that icon for so if I go right here to the finder which is right here it's the smiley face and then I'll just go over to my documents I have two folders and I have a notes document and then I can also go into my applications and I have a bunch of applications installed and I can change any of those icons well, I'm going to go back to the documents for right now, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Safari. And I'm going to go over here, and I'm just going to go to DuckDuckGo.com and press Enter. And you can use any web browser that you want to, and you can use any search engine that you want to. But I'm just going to use Safari, and I'm going to use DuckDuckGo. Now here, I'm going to search for Document icon and then press enter and then you can see here's some different icons that you can use well if you go up here to images that gives you all kinds of images that you can find well let's say maybe you happen to like this icon right here well all you have to do is you just click on it it opens up the picture and you're just gonna right click and you're gonna copy the image and then we're going to go back over to Finder, and then we're going to make sure we're on Documents, and I'm going to click on that document that I want to change the icon for. Now, you can either do it one of two ways. You can press Command-I on your keyboard, and that will bring up this window that says Notes Info. Now, if you don't want to do Command-I, or if you can't, you can also right-click on it, or Control-click, and you can go to get info and when you do that it's the same window you get right here now all you have to do to change the icon is just click right up here on this little icon and do command V and it'll paste that icon right in and if you'll notice now I have that same icon that was on Safari on my document itself so let's do another one that was for just a notes document let's say I want to change a folder so I'm going to go back to Safari just by clicking on Safari right here and I'm going to close out of this tab right here by clicking the X well back over here I'm going to scroll back to the top and then I'm going to type in folder icon and I'm going to go ahead and click on the little search icon now here there's quite a few different ones that you could pick from so let's just find a good one what about we pick this one right here so we'll just click on it all you have to do is the same thing you're just gonna right click copy the image we're gonna go back over to finder make sure we're on our documents and we're gonna click on that folder one and we're gonna go to command I and then we're gonna click on this icon right here and we're going to do command V and it's going to paste it right in and if you'll notice it's changed that icon for you now this works not just for files and folders but it works for applications also so let's say we go over here to applications and you just really don't like the way that the Microsoft Word icon looks you just want it to be something different okay so that's okay let's go over here to Safari so you click on Safari we're going to close this tab right here and we're going to scroll back to the top and I'm going to type in Microsoft Word icon and again you can search for anything you want to I'm just going to use Microsoft Word let's say you like this icon much better well, all you have to do you just click on it and we're going to click on it again to make it big and full screen and then we're going to right click on it and copy the image and then I'm going to go back here to Finder. 
I've already got the Word, Microsoft Word, highlighted, but if you don't, you would just click one time on it, and then you're going to go do a Command-I, and then you're going to click on this icon right here and do a Command-V. And then when you change an application or certain files and folders that are inside of protected folders, it wants you to put your password in. So I'm going to quickly put my password in, and I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And now, if you'll notice, it changed that icon. So now, if I close it, and I click on Microsoft Word right here, there it goes. It just updated that icon for you. So as soon as you launch it, it'll update it if it's down in the dock. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to quit out of Word. But that's how you would go and you would change it if you wanted to actually do it for your applications or your files or your folders on a Mac computer. Now this will work for almost every single Mac version that anybody is using out there nowadays. It may not work for some of the very, very early versions of Mac OS X, like 10.0, 10.1, 10.2 or 10.3, but anything 10.6 or newer, this should work for. So I hope that was helpful on how you can change the icons for all your files, folders, and applications. If you do have any questions about how to do this on a specific Mac computer, please let me know down below in the comments, and I'll be more than happy to help you with that. And if there's a video that you would like for me to create for you, please let me know that down below in the comments as well, and I will do my best to create that for you. And as always, because you all do such a great job, if you can, hit that like and subscribe button so I can keep putting up more great content like how do I change my icons for my different files, folders, and applications on my Mac computer. And I'll be glad to keep putting up all this great content for you all. Thanks so much, everybody. I really appreciate you all. I hope you have a great day. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.